Now, honestly, I don't talk about video games all that much on this channel, despite the fact that Super Mario Logan is based on a video game franchise, but if I'm gonna start moving on from him, I might as well start expanding my video content to different types of genres and mediums, and I guess I should start here because I do have a lot to say about the Diamond and Pearl remake trailers that were just released. Now, I'm gonna be quite honest with you guys, the new Diamond and Pearl remakes are... Eh? I mean, I, I've been waiting for Diamond and Pearl remakes for a very long time, and now we're finally getting it, and it looks... It just doesn't look right. They quite literally decided to take what's on the DS and remake it to look exactly like it's on the DS, but it's higher resolution, and I don't like it. I mean, what happened? I mean, in Pokemon Alpha Sapphire and Omega Ruby, they didn't just, you know, remake the games to how they were in the Game Boy, but they actually had 3D models, they had, uh, you know, 3D characters with actual height and depth and stuff like that, but in this one, it just kind of looks like they took what's on the DS and just made it higher resolution. All the cheapified character models, and I just don't like it. It feels very lazy on Game Freak's part. And yes, I know, everybody was expecting these Diamond Pro remakes, but I wasn't expecting them like this. It doesn't really feel like it's ambitious. It just feels like it's lazy. And I know it shouldn't try to be ambitious because it's a remake, but even so, it, it feels way too lazy. And the worst part is that we're getting this game, Pokemon Legends Arceus, and I assume that it's gonna be like the platinum of the two games, and it looks way better! It actually looks like it's an ambitious Pokemon game, it looks like they're actually putting effort into this, it looks like it's gonna be an open world game, it's gonna have, you know, all kinds of different Pokemon and stuff like that. And RC is gonna be the main legendary. So it's kinda like the Sinnoh region, but just look at it. It looks like they put so much effort into this. It actually looks very nice. And what? why didn't they do that with Diamond and Pearl? Like they put this much effort to this game, but not Diamond and Pearl? It's just, it baffles me. Because the Diamond and Pearl remakes honestly deserve better. Because, there is kind of a standard that you need to set. In the previous, like, Pokemon remakes, they didn't just, you know, remake the games, but they also did something new based on the technology they had. Like, for example, with Pokemon Alpha Sapphire and Omega Ruby, in that game, they didn't just, you know, copy and paste the game. You know, they had 3D models, they had some new story elements, and of course, they had cutscenes and stuff like that. But, you know, with the Diamond and Pearl remakes, it just feels like they're just taking the copying and pasting the Diamond and Pearl games, but with a higher resolution. And here, Legends Arceus, it looks like a completely different game. Now, I'm not saying the Diamond and Pearl remakes need to be different games. What I'm saying is that they should put a little bit more effort, because otherwise, it just feels like the same old game, and I feel like that's kind of Pokemon's problem nowadays. It just feels like it's the same old game. At least with Sun and Moon, you know, they got rid of gyms and they actually had the trials and, you know, it felt different. But honestly, that's kind of just the problem with games of the Pokemon franchise in general. They're not ambitious, they're just kind of the same old thing. Now that that is done, we can finally start making video game content on this channel. I mean, we kind of did, but Mathdominus deleted all those videos, so... <laughs> well, at least we can start now. Speaking of video games and Pokemon... Time to play Pokemon! Ugh. Skylanders? <laughs> 